Hey everybody, this is Percy LaPointe with Tender Care Lawn Service. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that everybody asks, uh, including us, is how do I grow my business? How do I get to the next level? Whether that's quarter of a million, half a million, one million on up. And so I can tell you the few things that we've kind of followed that's tried and true to get us where we are and then where we're getting. And, and I can tell you, for one, that we're a big marketing company even though we're in the service-based business we're doing lawn maintenance landscaping new construction irrigation drainage fertilization weed control we do it all but i can tell you what we're primarily focused on and that's marketing because we're in the people business we market very heavily socially uh facebook youtube uh kind of picking up on the on the video marketing a lot more uh, recently within the last year but facebook's heavy instagram um, we have tried in the past flyers, radio ad, uh, billboards, yard signs, postcards, referrals, uh, good referral programs. We've done a lot. And I can tell you that very seldom do we have to go out there to the market and bring in the customers. The customers come to us, and I can credit a lot of that to our marketing campaigns and whatnot. We're always in a push. Uh, we're always in a, a, a proactive approach to get an account instead of a reactive, they come to us. And I think that goes a long way. We fill up the pipeline, and by doing that, there's just always new revenue coming in instead of sitting back and just getting comfortable with the recurring revenue that comes in because that new revenue helps you to grow your company to get where you need to be if you need to finance items if you need to make the moves in your business to wherever you depending on how big you want to get because it's going to cost you and depending on the size that you want to get the more money it's going to take and so we can tell you firsthand that if you want to grow fast and you want to grow aggressive it's going to take a lot of money and you're going to need new revenue and to get new revenue, you need to have a marketing campaign. You might need a salesperson like us. We have a salesperson. Uh, he's awesome. He's great. I wouldn't even call him a salesperson because, I mean, the guy's a closer. But we have four people in our organization that can go out, do an estimate, sell a deal. Um, so that's pretty big for us. Um, I can tell you the next thing that we credit a lot of our our business growth too is just doing the right thing hey if we screw up we guarantee our work we'll go out and fix it we'll go out and fix it we we'll go out and fix it uh, it's not that we have to do that that often but when push comes to shove if even if I'm borderline hey the customer saying one thing and I know that we did or didn't do it most of the time we didn't do it we still go do it anyway we go fix it because um, the perceived perception in that customer's mind is that we did it and so even if we didn't do it I'll kind of make a judgment call on that but but more often than not even when I know or think that we did not do it because I'll get with our guys and I trust our guys first is we always do the right thing and just fix the problem even if it costs money it, it doesn't come down to how much money does it cost us uh, what's that customer or that client talking bad about us what does that cost and so we'll weigh those odds um and then I guess the next thing for me is knowing your numbers and this is a big one I can go on and on and make a video just on knowing your numbers so quite often I know my numbers what is my billable per man per hour rate constantly so I'll figure out what our numbers are so what's this person costing me and so we'll, we'll constantly know our numbers as far as when you add and take away equipment so there's expenses there. And when you hire and fire people, those expenses fluctuate. So I always know what our expenses are for stuff and then what our expenses are for labor. And I constantly know that number because it does go up and down. So as it goes up and down, we constantly monitor that and make sure the billable to non-billable personnel is right where it needs to be. And we know the revenue coming in and we know where we're going to be in the future so we can plan for that. So knowing your numbers is huge. I, I mean, like I said, I can go on and on on one video just on knowing your numbers and maybe I should uh, because I'm a big numbers guy and that is gold right there. 
if you can't guide your ship, you really, you won't get anywhere. You're going to lose money. And so, if you want to grow your company and you don't really know what your expenses are and what they should be and how to calculate and there may be a few expenses throughout the month. Hey, you didn't know you were going to bust that window in the car or whatever rock from a weed eater through it 50 yards away and then you know so there are things you can account for but most of it you can and so I'm gonna say just know your numbers all around even if you do it I mean quite often we do it once a week sometimes daily uh, if I spot check it so every time I hire or fire or equipment purchases we're constantly doing it especially if things are financed you want to do it uh, because we never make a purchase without knowing where we stand and where we're going to be after we make the purchase. So I would say for sure, get you, wrap your head around marketing. Always do the right thing and make sure you know your numbers. Those are the three things as a business owner that that's our responsibility. And so I'm talking to you business owners that you may be good out in the field. And if you're anything like me, I was good out in the field and I really wasn't so good. Uh, and I had to take myself out of the field after a while and get good at that part of it. And if you're anything like me, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, even if you don't really like to be in the office, you need to make that decision. If you plan on growing at some point, you're going to be out of the field. And if you're the guy that says, hey, move over, let me do it myself, it's not going to work out well for you. At some point, you're going to have to get the people to run the business so you can do the things that you need to do to basically guide that ship. So anyway, I hope this helps. Those are the three key components that I would like to point out for today's video. And again, that's marketing. Always do the right thing and know your numbers. Again, personal point, tender care, lawn service. Thank you so much.